Back to the drawing board. Oh, don't you freeze up on me already. Come on. So, this time, I guess, anything except uh, Brayton? Breton? That's what I was last time. So already go for some diversity, huh? Game loads. Did not like me alt-tabbing to start the recording. No, not a Nord. Did not tell me stats like last time. Weird. Exceptionally high stamina. Considering how goddamn annoying the stamina system is now, I think I might go with them purely for the stamina. This exceptionally high. Let's go with it. I'll be, I'll be a male this time. Why not? An Imperial, not a Red Guard. Haha. <laughs> Get it. I like that. I like that shade. Oh, with a lot of wrinkles. You will be dirty. cracks in the skin. Fucker looking like a goblin. With these kind of droopy, sad eyes. I don't even know what skills he starts with because it didn't have a little thing this time. Our different hairstyles because 27 was the one I liked last time. It doesn't really matter, I'm not going to be looking at them. A mohawk.
like a fucking troll. Maybe a troll name? I can't think of any troll names. I know they got uh, those in them, like... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> not, not those words, but that style. I can't think of any troll names. Come on, Warcraft memory. I only played the game for ten years. I cannot name one troll from Warcraft. Name will be Tomahawk. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Didn't I turn on general subtitles? I guess it just doesn't apply to custom things. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Random again. Which city did you see? Whoa, 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 whoa. I said surprise me, not... Approach, my child, you may and choose where your new life shall the begin. Awaits you. Leaving your life to chance, so be it. Uh... It's like, this starting spot is a little broken. Trying to, trying to make it in there. I think if I could latch on to the bed or something. It doesn't start falling rapidly until I move? No. Apparently a lot of gear in this uh, little area here, huh? Need something? Yeah, to stop falling endlessly. So this seems to be a glitch. Let's try that again. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Leaving your life to chance. Surprise me, but don't surprise me that much, okay? Gotta say, I was surprised. Surprised that they don't fucking test their mods. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the moot chose the king. So I'm an Imperial, and they put me the here with the Imperials. Not everyone's agreed to the moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown, and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around. But if we found it first... And we gave it to Ellison. In the absence of the moot... It the order of the yard, Fuck! Stop right there. Perhaps. I was just trying to read the map. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Come on. I was just trying to pick up map markers.
throwing me in jail over an accidental pickup. At least he didn't kill me, I guess. Do I even have two gold to spend? Like, failed, what? <laughs> so just kind of... Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. If Ulfric gets his hand... This is when you have to actually read. It's good that it lets you know. It won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the moot chose the king. We're backing Elisif. When the moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not everyone's agreed to the moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the jagged crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around. But if we... found it first... And we get... Eat. To Ellison. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you, if this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send him back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. The stone fist's no fool. He's found the crown. But we'll get to it first. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Controlling the Pale gives Ulfric a port town and takes the pressure off of Windhelm. But it's only a matter of time before it's back in our hands. The Legion's always been here. Without us to keep or Take, for example, Ulfric Storm... Ulfric Stormcloak's head rolling. It's good we hold the Reach. We're the rebels to gain control. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between... We will oust Ulfric from Windhelm soon and... I'm originally from Cyrodiil's and... Now, while I'm certain this is all terribly interesting to you, I have important matters to attend. Sir, we can't just keep trading blows with the rebels like this. It's only strengthening their resolve. Your concerns are duly noted, Legget, but unfounded. I assure you, this war will be over in another six months. Sir, this is costing lives of both Imperial... ...Loyalists and Skyrim citizens alike. And it's winning the rebel support where they had none before. Get killed before I even leave the castle. But these commands come straight from Cyrodiil. We must maintain order and put the... Re ...Dias Jarls in their place. We have a full-scale war on our hands. You don't think this is a war already? Sir, I... Thank you, Legget. In the future, I'll let you know when your opinion is needed. Sir.
here. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. A legendary crown dating back to King Harald's time or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Leshen campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires, and I followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomaniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his Stormcloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The Rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. I consider this conversation over. I'll snap. Damn Stormcloak Rebels. Yeah. On the blacksmith. How is someone detecting me? Why am I moving so slow? Oh, out of stamina. Starts me out, out of food and water and... With a bunch of gear, but... Playing with fire. I'm hungry. 
do have a drink, but it's another crazy ass trip into drunken land that I don't want to do. My stamina when I'm not doing anything, why not? Yes. Pig sticker like that's not going to get you far. Best visit the blacksmith. I'd like to. I don't know where they are. I, I remember that kind of shit. I didn't just steal anything. Here's our for sitting. Drink this nasty looking water here. I thought that would fix the problem. It did not. Oh, I'm overweight now. Better? You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. Someone could get hurt. And if I see you doing it again, that someone will be you. Have I made myself clear? See that it doesn't happen again. The soldiers and I get to make sure they're distributed as an order. Sir, half of the orders appear to be missing. That is correct. Those orders have been delivered by special couriers. I can't trust some of our normal distribution channels. I feel like that's a glitch. That constant stamina drain. I wasn't doing that before, even when I'm staying still. Pick this race because they're supposed to have more stamina than everyone else. It seems to have negative stamina. That I could have it. That's mine. Considering I'm part of them now, I should be able to eat their food. Need something? My stamina to work properly. like to forget is that the empire is what's keeping the dominion out of skyrim i think the blacksmith is the one in town i don't think there's one specifically in the castle even though they call him the castle blacksmith i 
And hopefully changing what instance I'm in fixes whatever's wrong with my stamina. Nope, still eating itself away. That'll fix it. It doesn't seem right. But it wasn't doing that previously. Be sure I have that. Fall patch. By the way, if you're looking at this order and you see what's fucked in it, let me know. I don't fucking know. I, I don't even know how people manage to know what a wrong loot order is, or wrong mod order is. Hmm, I don't see a frostfall patch. That's the problem. Oh, the armor I have. It might be too heavy. Ah, my armor's too heavy. It wasn't a mistake. That I'm not strong enough to wear that armor. So I'm drunk for no reason. Hi, horsey. Guard. Drunken fool. I've been waiting for Rogvir's execution. Talk to me later. I've been waiting for Rogvir's execution. You're who I'm talk supposed to, to talk to. Traitor! I've been waiting for Rogvir's execution. Talk to me later. On this day, I go to Sonic. Alter was a separate thing.
Other shit has to happen before he'll talk to me. Lame. We have a fine selection of herb. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Oh well, it was a long shot. Take a look. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients. That sort of thing. These days, we have more people like you come. No, no. Mostly, I'm just a simple herbalist. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to White Run after she... I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Cap... We mostly... These days, we have more people like you. Of course. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. Not my problem. Take a look. Don't sell water barrels, do you? Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. I still can't believe he knew what he was doing when he opened that gate. I still can't believe he knew what he was doing when he opened that gate. Vivienne, could you check out supplies of mandrake root? Which one is that again? It's the root that looks like an ugly little man. In that case, I'm pretty sure it tried to buy me a drink last night. Okay. Cost me money? Come on. You gotta tell me before you charge me. some gold for a veteran what you see a man falling on hard times and you think he's been like that forever I was there I fought in the Great War I was on the field at Anvil and you understand they left me for dead I didn't leave them oh thank you divines bless your kind I think heart. I may wait until the burning of King Olaf always good to have talking to wine you. Ah, you and everyone else. Mind yourself in my city, friend. This here axe in full swing is a... Hi, I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Ain't got one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Keep your head right. Up. The Imperials are racist as fuck. I remember that. I think the Nords are racist too. I think both sides are racist. As priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Oh, hey, I was trying to trade him, not give him money. I don't even think I had that much money. I'm I'm running errands at the moment, but please visit me later at the Temple of the Divines. Hello there. We haven't met, have we? I'm Firanet, although my friends call me Firo, or Netta for short. Although I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. We just met, so we're hardly friends. Uh, not to mean that we won't be friends someday, or even today. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Can we start over? Um, well, 
well met as well. I, I mean, well met and greetings. Ah, oh, what I'm trying to say is greetings and well met. Oh, sweet taffy treats, I did it again, didn't I? Well, I was kind of hoping I could. I know, you're probably thinking I've gone mad the way I fumbled through our meeting. And, truth is, I'm perfectly happy just being Ned of the Milkmaid. Well, my friends have also hey. said I have a great singing voice. I'm not drunk anymore. I suppose they should, because that's what friends do. But after hearing it a number of times from different people, you start to think there might be something to it. So, here I am. You're prettier when I was drunk. Oh no. I came here on a ship from Lanyon, near Iliac Bay in Hammerfell. I didn't come alone, though. My fiancé at the time came with me. He stuck it out here in Skyrim for a few months, but eventually boarded a ship headed back home. So, you're single. It's my fault, really. I knew he didn't want to come to Skyrim, and it was probably the guilt that made him follow me here. It's one of those things. If I loved him, I shouldn't have asked him to leave. If he loved me, he wouldn't have asked me to stay. So in the end, I guess neither of us loved each other. But we'd already invested so much time into the relationship, and so he sacrificed everything for me. No, not yet. I talked to Viarmo, and he said that Pentia Atea would hear my audition when her schedule clears up. Oh, which is completely understandable. I imagine a master vocalist must have a very hectic schedule. I bet you're right. I don't know about demanding it, but at the very least, I should put more pressure on Pantia to see me. I guess I'm just worried that if I annoy her enough, she'll deny my admittance before I even finish my warm-up. I know, I know. I have a tendency to overthink things, too. Right now, my biggest fear is having my throat go hoarse the day Pantia calls my name. One of the bards from the college suggested chewing on Nurn root, but I wasn't sure if he was serious. I suppose it would be quite irritating. I didn't plan on singing with it in my mouth, though. True. On the one hand, all this anxiety can't be good for my health. Or my skin. Well, I know hope something you feed children, mostly. You tell them, but for them, it doesn't really mean anything. I'm bored with you now. They might as well say they want to be an apple. Because it's real. I mean, look at But it's not a dream. It's right, isn't everybody? I'm scared I'll wake up one morning, and there won't be a need for vocal training. I think about all the wonderful people I've met here, and I'm scared to say goodbye. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I love all the little quirks they have, too. Like the way Corpulus likes to wink at you because he thinks they're all really interesting once you get to know them. Well, we didn't have a lot of gold, but my fiancé said he sold... But at some point on the way here, I c But it was the damage to my throat that was the most depressing part. He got impatient. The tr <sighs> I should have known he didn't sell the farm. I don't know what to say to that. We've barely met. Uh, thank you, I guess. You mean like, is there anything in particular you want to hear? You mean, like a song that I wrote? How about I s- Whoa, that was quick! You can't fool me! I know don't speak when I hear it! That's the opening to don't speak. Thanks. It does seem to feel more natural than some of the other songs the bards sing. Just the lute. Can you imagine me on the drum? <laughs> well, the lute I have was... My mother gave it to me before I... I told her that made two of us. 
Yeah, I s It's a cranky old thing and is quick to get out of tune. But what would you like me to play? The safe journeys. Youngest bard at the Bard's College. I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Yes. Of course. I'm glad I could help. How can I argue with that? Good afternoon. Take a look. Why this pie salesman knows how to temper gear is beyond me, but... Good afternoon. Right. Take a look. Until next time. Stealing? Plenty of fresh fish for you. Down at the docks. There are a few good spots if you can avoid the East Empire company workers and those red wig thugs. Svari, yes. I've tried to explain that Rogbeer did something bad and that we all have to be accountable. See for yourself. These are troubled times. You look like Be you could do with a ripe there. apple. That I do. I had a... He was very nervous. Mentioned something about needing help. I have my way. The Black Blood Marauders have been plundering ships. Everything I've got on display, really. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. Spiced wine, the taste yes. of home and heart. Open that door, all right. Fresh off the boat. The freshest in Skyrim. How oh, the blacksmith should talk to me now that shit has gone down. What I was looking for. There we go. Spice wine to warm the blood. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding. Great. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Oh, yes. A secret family. They're adequate. Well, it's a great... The bards give out spice, but with the death of High King Torig. Take a look. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Clang, 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 clang. Spice wine, the taste of home and heart. I've got weapons forgiven and armor forgotten. That helmet look all fucked. Seems there's no end to the need. Yep. I just have one question. Light, medium, or heavy? 
They don't make finer steel anywhere else. If this doesn't keep you from dying, nothing will. Now that's it. One free outfit per soldier. You lose that, or get it banged up. You'll need to pay like everyone else. I think I would. If it oh, same I would have my high. You think storm cloaks and legionnaires are dangerous? It's almost all I have. The men training here in solitude, and the but I'm not telling you anything. Uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torrig supported them, and now her. Li you could say I'm a king's man at heart. My loyalty lies with solitude. So. Where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. It's almost all I have time for. This That's place. what I wanted. I hate how it does that weird jumping around shit. Cool that he can craft stuff on request. Oh, come on! What the fuck? this game.